Pimpin' pimpin', scrimpin' dimpin', limpin', flimpin' gimpin'. Is that you saying hi? That's the introduction. Oh, my gosh, babe. Just say <laughs> hi. I'm, I'm waiting for you to get started. <laughs> Welcome to the Perfect Pair Podcast. One more again. I'm Rock Teasy for Sheezy. And this woman right here. Crystal Rock Teasy better have. Indeed she is, man. We always talking about uh, everybody say we a perfect pair. We far from perfect. But we're perfect for each other. Indeed. Now, she's a little calm today, ladies and gentlemen. So that means she's going to probably be coming at me. Sure am. Time, it's like the calm before the am. storm. I can feel it. I can feel the energy. I'm glad you can. <laughs> I'm so glad. I, I think I know what you want Because you didn't to. feel any of it at previous times. <laughs> you didn't feel any of it, so I'm glad you can feel it today. So what are we going to talk about? Learning. Go ahead. We are, uh, we are going to talk about how my husband is the most thoughtful, unthoughtful man alive. Thoughtful, <laughs> unthoughtful man alive. Yes. I, I received that. Okay. Okay. So you're going to break it all down? I'm going to break I'm, it all the way down. Why I'm thoughtful but unthoughtful at the oh, same time. Oh, he is. So I need y'all to understand, <laughs> like, when y'all think you got the perfect husband, they can be so unthoughtful. And it's okay. Oh, yeah. and it's I got okay. And I got a rebuttal. I know you do. <laughs> Lord. I got a response to all that. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's go, baby. Perfect Pair Podcast starts right now. Bye. Mm. <laughs> okay, so first... Hold on. Why? Oh, my god. We need gosh. everybody to subscribe, download, oh. you know, <laughs> continue to make your positive five-star reviews. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Thank you for that because because of you is why we still doing what we do right now. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to stall because I already know where she's about to get ready to go. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, go ahead. <laughs> trying get to get out. all this going right Get there. it out. So thank you for that. Let's go. Okay. So I want to tell you, Rocky is very thoughtful. And, babe, I give you that. You are. He'll do things. Like, he'll know I'm, I've been sore and stuff. He'll be like, let's go get a massage. He will, like, he would do a lot of really good, thoughtful things. And he surprises me a lot. Like, my birthday, he did amazing for my birthday. And I'm like, oh, he's so sweet. But then he does some of the, this, this shit here. Let me tell y'all what happened. I just, I can't even even be, like, politically correct about the shit. So, I go work out. Three times a week. Mm -hmm. And I work out at night. So it's at 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So I leave the house about 5.30. I probably won't get home till about 7.30. That means Rocky has two hours to himself with, with me being gone. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I'm setting it up right. He knows when I come home from working out that I want to get in the shower. Because nobody wants to just uh, be sitting in their sweat right. after you working out. I hate that. He knows I just want to get in the shower. I want to make sure that I'm clean. Now, in our house at the moment, everybody can take a shower and the hot water won't go nowhere. But for some reason, when you run bath water, it takes all the hot water, no matter what. My husband loves taking baths. Sure do. And I'm okay with that. Like, okay, that's fine. So now that y'all understand that whole thing, I call him right before I'm coming from after my workout. And I'm letting him know, babe, I'm going to stop by the post office real quick. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to come home. He was like, all right. Do y'all need anything? Because I always try to make sure they got something because I didn't cook that night. Right. And I was like, make sure they got something to eat, so on and so forth. He said, oh, we good. We got food. Cool. Because I'm being thoughtful. Listen, I mean, I'm enough. being real thoughtful <laughs> to make sure the kid, my son and my honey has eaten and they're good. Yep. So I come home. I hear that damn bath water running. <laughs> and I just looked at him. I said, you got to be kidding me. Are you serious? I said, you are so in, you see how he laughing? <laughs> First of all, and this is something about Rocky, when he do this unthoughtful shit, he was, he instantly, because he knew he was unthoughtful, he gets on the defense mode like, well, well I'm just, let's come up with a solution in. You want, you want some bath water? Keep in mind, y'all, I hate baths. Right. And I hate baths after workouts, too, because I don't want to just sit in the tub. I want to just rinse this stuff off, wash myself off, and get in this tub and get in the bed. He knows that. So he was like, well, you can take a bath. I mean, it's just a simple solution right there. I mean, why are you angry? Why are you so mad? Why are you so mad? Because you you are so unthoughtful. And then on top of that, y'all heard when I say I leave at 530 to go to my workout. I didn't get home till like 740. He's like, so that means he had over two hours, two hours and 10 minutes to be exact because I got home at 740. <laughs> he had two hours and 10 minutes to take this whole, this whole bath that he wanted to take. And then... He was like, what? He, he used the excuse. Oh, babe, well, I figured because you was going to the post office. Well, what post office you think I was going to? Hey, man. You, what, you ready for me to Yeah, what post office? I just want to know. What post office did you think I was going to that was going to take me 30, 40 minutes to get back home? 
Well, when I respond, I'm gonna be talking for a little bit, so I'm gonna let you finish. And no, get I'm it all doing out. now because I want to tell respond to that though first, and then I'm gonna I won't, I won't cut you off. I might not. <laughs> <laughs> I might not. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So was respond I respond to the to the post office? How far did you think the post office was gonna be? Where I, I come from? I figured it was gonna add an extra 15, 20 minutes to your babe from you getting home. Which that's why I said this is my thought. Here's my thinking in my head. You normally take about 15 minutes to get home, 15, 20 minutes from working out. Mm-hmm. You said, I'm going to the post office, which is going to add another, in my head, another 15 minutes. So I'm thinking, I got 30 minutes. I can run my bath water, which takes about 10 minutes or less, hop in that tub, and start my bath. Keep in mind, by the time you get home, the water would already been back hot. You can hop in your shower and everything's good. That's what I'm thinking. Okay? So it didn't take her. An extra 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> she got home a little bit faster. But the water, I haven't even gotten in the, in, the, in the bath yet. The water was still running. You were still running your bath water. So. Meaning you I didn't. get it. I get it. You don't like taking baths. But you just worked out. You're sweaty. So I'm like, okay, my bad. I'm sorry. You can have my bath water. That's not how you said it. That's another thing. You see how he's saying it right I'm now? Like, I said, no, 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 no. I Rocky. said, you can have my bath water. Go ahead and sit in there because you. You can, you can have the bath water. You can, you can go sit right here. It's, it's a solution. You can have the bath water. That's exactly how you said it. I only went there after you got really mad. You got all, all amped up. You, I said, you, went so, mad. It, you know why he said that? Because, oh, that, that's why you said that. He was like, you're just mad because of what happened earlier. Because I ain't going to lie. That had, I had, that had nothing to do with the bath water. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say I don't care. First of all, when every, these coaches, when y'all talk to parents, I'm, I'm going to say it because I was upset. Uh-oh. When these coaches, when y'all talk to parents on, these, on these, uh, these apps and stuff and trying to relate messages, it's a way that you text and you communicate with, your, with the parents and stuff. First of all, my son missed the mandatory meeting and the first practice. Right. So for good reasons because we were taking our daughter to school and so on and you had to work. Absolutely. They, the coaches knew that. So I'm just trying to make sure that my son had everything that he needed. Mm-hmm. So I'm texting the coach on this app asking her, like, listen, does um, do you have his uh, online order for his T-shirt? Because I know he missed, and we're just trying to make sure he has everything he needs. Absolutely. You're telling me he's coming home, telling me he needs a hard copy. And I'm like, well, I don't have a hard copy. Can they give me the hard copy, and I can send it back, so on and so forth. I said, I'm just trying to make sure he is taken care of. Asking simple, logical questions. So she responded. She was like, I have double-checked all online orders and made copies for them. That was it. So I'm like, well, shit, does that mean my son? Because, I mean, we was late. Right. So I'm thinking maybe she didn't get his. Right. So I was like, well, okay. I said, well, did, does that mean you don't have Rockies or you do have Rockies? I said, well, just in case, I can screenshot the receipt that I have that shows that I ordered it. And I was like, maybe this will help. Does that sound like it's an attitude what I'm saying? Just be no, honest no. with me. Not not, you didn't even put caps, all nothing. caps or nothing. So I send the screenshot. She responds again. Again. <laughs> she said, again, I have printed out all online orders. So by this time, I'm hot. I'm heated because I'm like, okay, I really wanted to call her the B word, but I didn't. Take note. She's hot and heated at this time. I was. Take note. But wait, no. And I said, babe, I need to get this off my chest. Didn't I not tell you that? Yeah. And, and I, I, I go off. I'm like on a whole rant. And I let you go. Like who she? What she think? All you gotta do is answer the question. I ought to say something back. You better hope I see. I need to calm down because I don't want to cuss and out. Who I'm was not calming you down? You you laughed, but you did. You was calming me down. Okay. So okay. I was like, okay, cool. So I did respond, and I said, a simple yes would have been okay. You could have kept the sarcasm. <laughs> Thank you and have a blessed day. So she blocked me and uh left the conversation. <laughs> That's okay, because my son, Coach Coach, is the man. So I don't have to worry about her anyway. But. <laughs> He said that I came home with that same attitude. That's why I had. And I'm like, no, that had nothing to do with it. That, was that not inconsiderate? Because y'all didn't even hear this part. We got two people in here, y'all, just FYI, if y'all, if y'all ask me why I keep saying it. Y'all didn't hear this part. But do y'all think it was still inconsiderate before y'all even heard the other part? Uh, Nod your head, yes, no. Mm, uh, mm. See? Garrett, yeah. I don't like, <laughs> Garrett don't count. Garrett, super producer Garrett, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. That was still inconsiderate what you did, knowing I do this all the time. Maybe maybe inconsiderate is not the proper word. Now, could I have 
Could I have waited for my bath? Absolutely. I Could knew you, you had were... taken your bath earlier too. You didn't even have to wait for your I bath. I was working. I was trying. You know me, because if I if I get distracted and I don't finish what I'm doing that task, then I I get in procrastination mode and I got a bunch of half done tasks. I like to get my stuff Mm-mm. done, complete. Now I move on to the next one. So that's what I was going on. So when I finally got done, right when I was finishing, you're like, "Hey, honey, I'm gonna go to the post office." I'm like, "All right, cool. I got at least thirty minutes." My bath water takes 10 minutes, give or take a little bit. That's going to give 20 minutes for the water to get back hot, which don't take it long. Did, but it didn't happen this way. So it's all and then, you hold on now. understand. Time out. I don't, th- Time I don't out. care. I don't here's, care. here's some other stuff that you ain't that you forgot about. <laughs> here's some other stuff. Rocky. <laughs> oh, my God. Why are you so extra? Let me get this out right here because you didn't even try. <laughs> Rocky, okay, here he goes. You didn't try to start the water to even see if it was warm yet or hot yet. You just assumed that the water was cold. You didn't even turn the shower on to see, oh, the how water do you, is hot. How do you know if I turned it on? I was in the tub. I was about to get in the tub. I was, about, I, well, I was I in the bathroom. Right. I was about to get in the tub, and I, I, I said, you can have the water. I didn't want to be in the bathroom with you. I didn't want to be in the restroom with you at all. But how would you know that the water wasn't hot yet? Because I didn't want to be in there with you because I was already mad at you for starting the bath water when you knew I was coming home, so okay. I didn't want to be in there. So now we get into the solution of the situation. I waited till you got your little dirty ass up out the tub, and then I got <laughs> back in there, and I went in there to check if the water was clean. But hot. if you would have turned the water on in your shower and it was cold, then everything that you're saying right now, I can't even respond. But it, what if it was hot? But you know it don't be hot. Just what if it was hot? <laughs> but you know it don't be hot. We've tried it over and over we again. We could have eliminated that little five-minute conversation uh, truth. argument. Okay. Tell the truth, shame the devil. Did do you? Does it always be hot whenever um, it's always cold after you run your bath water all the time? Right after I run my bath water? Yeah. yeah. Water? <laughs> and you yeah. did. For the most part. <laughs> and you just finished running your bath water. It wasn't... It, it just, babe, when I got home, you were still running the bath water. It was still running. Okay. Anyway, so let's move on to the next unthoughtful thing that this man had did to me. Thoughtful, unthoughtful. Yeah, thoughtful, unthoughtful. <laughs> I'm talking about your unthoughtfulness now because we already talked about the thoughtful stuff. Right, right. This is TMI, so if y'all kids is listening, tell them to close their ears. So, Rocky and I have been traveling for a couple of weeks. Yes. So we ain't. Really had time to get in the bed and do some things, okay? <laughs> we want to get, we want to, we want to do the nasty. Happy trips. Right. We wanna, we wanna, we wanna go. So, you know, Rocky, <laughs> listen, y'all, I, I need y'all to understand what this is, what I did. I'm almost ashamed and embarrassed a little bit, but I'm not. So, I'm walking around the house. I put on my little shorts. <laughs> And you know my little cute little outfit. And I compliment you every time you. Okay, that's another Cause she, thing. Because she was walking around looking okay. fine. Okay, so that's another like, thing. Fine, I compliment you. I see. <laughs> he I, said, "Oh, babe, you looking good." What? Okay. So that's your. I'm thinking. Okay, that's a hint. He's starting to get the hint. Like, oh, baby's looking good. <laughs> this and that. I'm bending over in front of him. When I tell y'all, I'm pulling out the stops. Not even that, y'all. <laughs> Not only that, I run a candlelight bath water Ooh, yes, with she did. like. Like this little Epsom lavender in there, everything to soak his body, bathe him. <laughs> and he's not, I like did, Hakeem from Coming to America, because he loves coming to America. That was the whole point. White buzz. Oh, here he go. Here he go. <laughs> you do so much. Your royal bath. Okay, here he go. So I'm, I'm bathing him. I just listen, y'all. And listen, I done shave. Y'all know when we go to that extreme, you shave and get your body all right. We smelling good. This fool goes to sleep. <laughs> I got a reason for it. I got a reason. <laughs> like, why are you laughing? Because I got a reason. No. I got a legitimate reason. I know. When... You ready to hear my legitimate okay, reason? Okay, because I got to finish my part. Go ahead and finish then. Okay. So he goes to sleep. <laughs> Y'all don't understand my whole attitude at this point. Like, you got to be kidding me. He ain't caught on to one hint <laughs> yet. Not one of these hints. <laughs> Listen, no. So the next day he comes home, hey, babe. I'm just looking at him. <laughs> like, hey, I'm short. I ain't really trying to have no conversations with him. Real so short. He, he over here like, oh, okay, well, I'll let you have your moment. Y'all know how he gave me my moment because he think it's one of those. Let me, have her, let me let her have her moment. You don't have to wait. And I'm thinking like, can you think? Just think just a little bit. I'm thinking if he think. And keep in mind, I'm not really saying much, but I'm still wearing my cute stuff. So mm-hmm. maybe he could still be like, oh, well, maybe if I rub on her something. <laughs> something like, come on. Like, catch the hit. 
I'm about, I'm about to explode. And if you don't want this attitude to keep going, I need you to catch the hint. He ain't catch it on another the hint. Another day goes by. Another day goes by. Rocky, hey, babe. Oh. I can't. He gets ready to take our son to play baseball, to work out oh. and play baseball. And I ha- I'm having this attitude. By this time, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> this is where it goes back to us women when we get in our feelings. They don't. When I tell you, these men sometimes don't really know. They don't know and have no clue. And we will put ourselves in such a deep depression or something. We would take ourselves left because I was getting upset. And I was tired of feeling like this. So <laughs> while he was out baseball practice, in all caps, I said, since you can't catch a hint, <laughs> and I put down everything. I don't. I don't bent down, run bath water, bathe you, wear sexy clothes. And since you still can't catch your head, when you come home tonight, you we you better not close them eyes without giving me some. And that's exactly what I said. He responds, "LOL." So did. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, and then it takes Superman. <laughs> yeah. Rocky. Oh. Rocky. Oh, yeah. oh. Rocky. Okay, you do too much. <laughs> But the fact that it took all of that. So, okay. rewind. Okay. So, I'm going to tell you the reason why. Okay. I may have missed a hint. May. The first time, after the bath, you put me to sleep, babe. Like, I you was so relaxed. To watch, you went to go watch football or something. I fell something. asleep on the game, too. I, I came back in and said, man, did I got in that bed, that, that lavender bath? By the way, keep that on our list, cause you, I got, you got to keep doing that. <laughs> no, nope. I, I don't get nothing out of it. I ain't never been that relaxed. <laughs> they said I don't. <laughs> Why would I do I stuff like never that? Never been that relaxed, man. I was like, yo, I was like, man, I, I, feel, like I, a, I feel like a little baby. <laughs> you know what I say? You sleep like a baby. <laughs> you did. Ooh, you did. I curled up and started sucking my thumb, Jack. <laughs> I wanted to push him in the back of his head so bad. Like, what is he doing? Okay, now let's go to the second, the, the day number two. Right. Okay. When I realized that you had an attitude, didn't really, I wasn't really thinking like what the attitude was, why. I just sensed that, okay, she, something bothering her. So I'm going to give you your moment. I'm going to go ahead and ease on, go do my thing. I wasn't worried about nothing. Let you cool down, whatever. You were so, so short that I didn't even, we didn't have enough time to <laughs> conversate for me to even ask any question like what's wrong because fellas, when your oh woman is, a, is in attitude mode, <laughs> don't ask her what's wrong. You're not going to like the answer because all she's going to say is nothing. Oh, you, like, you know, know what's that, wrong. That TV commercial? <laughs> <laughs> Just walk away. Just walk away. <laughs> this is true. You're right. I probably would have said that. Like, you don't know or what? Nothing? Right. right. Some more smart alecky stuff would have came out your mouth. Then I would have been slick with my tongue, too. And we would have been going back and forth again. That would have caused a whole other argument. I just left it alone. So... That's what that was day two. And then you sent the text message. <laughs> so now I'm like, oh, okay. Now, after you sent that text message, I will admit, I started rewinding okay. everything that happened the last couple of days. I said, oh, that's why she's a little frustrated. <laughs> but it started you with that lavender me. bath you gave me. It took me back to when I was a little, little infant. Okay, here he go. Here he go. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh my God. Oh. Really, babe? <laughs> that bath was good, boy. So <laughs> those are the few things these last couple of weeks that Rocky has been so unthoughtful with. And it has frustrated me, <laughs> but he is still thoughtful. And I appreciate it. I go back to think about my birthday is what uh, made me love you again. Man. <laughs> and I got to shout out to Shawnice Lewis because she's actually the other person in the studio sitting over there. She helped me make the birthday party. like uh, She did. Birthday celebration, like amazing. Because we was on the road in Cincinnati. She lives in Cincinnati. And it's like, yo. And I called her up. She already had the game plan <laughs> locked did. in, so I didn't even have to do nothing. I was just there being a uh, proud hubby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did, but it was awesome still. So. Absolutely. Now, I, I, and we're going to save another episode for, for the unthoughtful, thoughtful things that you do. But oh, <laughs> I do that? What? No. Don't let this cute little face fool you all the time. No. And see, and see here, I'm going to give you a little tea. As a matter of fact, no. I'm going to talk about it right now. Please. It please, ain't going to be long. It ain't going to be long. Please do. So y'all, y'all know my wife. She's like the happiest, most beautiful, awesomest person on earth. Period. Way to start off. Good. Absolutely. Well, okay. And when we're away from each other, you know, we really miss each other. And she lets me know how much she misses me. <laughs> the text messages are just awesome, sweet, and loving. It's just like, that's my boo mama right there missing me. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I mean, to the point where it's like, man, I can't wait to get home. 
I get home, and guess what I get? Yeah. Hey, babe. I do. Listen. How was the trip? <laughs> barely, barely a hug. The hug is like, hey, babe. I do. Like, what happened on? I'm thinking she's going to come slow motion. <laughs> running. <laughs> Hey, we jump in each other's arms like, I miss you. <laughs> you want to explain that? That's why you laughing so hard. <laughs> you know, I, I, Wait, so okay. And thoughtful. Wait, okay. And thoughtful at the same time. Okay, okay. <laughs> I've always struggled with showing my emotions. In person. In person. I can tell you, but, like, actually, like, showing, like, hugging and stuff. Like, you know, my sister and I, we don't hug. Oh, yeah. I know. We don't even say I love you. Like, this, I probably can count on one hand how many times my sister and I have said I love you to right, each other. Right. So it's like we're just not kind of like those affectionate type people. And being married to Rocky, I understand, like, our five love language. His number one is touch. And that's my last. <laughs> like, <laughs> Rocky likes to cuddle. I don't like to cuddle. Nope. I don't like to do all that. Mm-mm. Like I hug, I but I do. I do better now. Like I, oh, you got I a lot make better. a point to touch him, rub him, to cater to him. But that's the thing. Like I miss you, and when I see you, I'm like, hey, I'm glad you're home. Like, okay, good. Like you're good. <laughs> I just I never knew like it meant something. He he'll be like, I feel like Scooby Doo. <laughs> okay, Rocky. Why? <laughs> why would you say like? But. <laughs> Why? You just I mean, messed up my whole thought. <laughs> Damn it. But see, I'm glad we know each other's love language because I know how much you love me and how much right. you miss me. Now, so it don't bother me. But No more. But back in the day, I'm like, gee, okay. I guess I go back and hop on this flight and go back to where I was. And be like, no. And I really miss, but I'm trying to do better. Now I hug you face, and I've been doing my part oh, to hug you. It's night way. and day now. Right. Yeah. So, but before I did do that, I was like that, babe. So there it is. I apologize. <laughs> I worked on it. Well, yours is just two weeks ago, at least. So I need you to work on yours. You should be good by now. So we're going to work on that. Okay, you got my yeah, word okay. on that one right there. I appreciate it. Because that so. attitude going to come. Listen, husbands, <laughs> wives, whatever, if that attitude bad, they might need to bust one. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. She should, should be happy. Okay. But we want to hear from you guys, man. <laughs> So we want you guys to share one of y'all stories, like for real. It, it could be the husband, the wife, the boyfriend, the girlfriend. If y'all got a similar story and you want to get it out there, this is the time to hit us up on the DM, okay. on social media. Shoot us an email. Go to perfectpairpodcast.com. Anywhere on social media. Go to the YouTube channel. Leave a message there. We'll respond to you, okay? And we want to hear y'all's story. Make a video. That'd be dope if you guys got together and made a video talking about oh, each yeah. other's uh, oh, our favorite couple that be, they always send us videos. Uh-huh. I, we love them. Uh, I, forgot, I forgot the uh, city they come from. Right. But they, I think it's somewhere by Atlanta in Georgia somewhere. Um, could be. It might be, but anyways. But anyways, uh, use the hashtag Perfect Pair Podcast so we can find them all and uh, all that good stuff. So download, subscribe, man. Thank you. Uh, tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell about three or five more people. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate you. And uh, click that little bell next to the subscribe button because now you'll get the alert to your phone, iPad. Even if you got a beeper still, you Rocky. will get an alert. If you got a VCR <laughs> machine, that VCR machine will say beep, 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 beep. Perfect Pair Podcast. New episode okay. just dropped today. Okay. He's so extra. Y'all have a great day. Deuces. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> well, pretty much, ladies and gentlemen, Billy Goats and girls and bats and everything else. That- Why do you do that? <laughs> just say ladies and gentlemen or just say hi. We are here to tell you guys where to subscribe. Why are you talking like that? You don't even talk like that. Talk I like know. Yourself. Because I'm We're waiting for talking. you. Okay. Subscribe. okay. subscribe. Please listen. You will not be sorry. Did you just fart? No. <laughs> That's your breath. Oh. Oh, oh, come back, Tom. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. Bye. Mm. <laughs> That's a cheeky.